so we are on the terminal so let's quickly explore the file we downloaded first so i will say ls the file is on my desktop so i will say ls desktop and this is the file we have it here so let's quickly display some lines from that particular file i will say head desktop slash aging y99.faster so we have some lines displayed that's the sequence some of the sequences and then we also have the name display here so now our file is ready for use let me clear the screen first before we run the proker let me see let's call the proker again and then we have the option displayed here so we are going to use a few of these options you will use the cpus we are also going to use kingdom we are also going to use the local stack which is here and we are also going to use the prefix which is here these are the options we are going to use for this exercise but you can explore these other options so just get the explanations from this text or from the github page and then try and then modify them to suit your needs so let me clear the screen first so now it's time to use proca so what we do is to first call proca then we specify cpus which is four so the cpus here will allow proca to use a specified number of cpus for the genome annotation so the higher the number of cpus the faster proca will run assuming that those cpus you have specified exist on your system so take notes of that for now let's leave it with four so that you can quickly run them we also specify prefix we have the prefix here let's say aging y99 so the prefix here allows proca to give a name to all the files that will be generated in addition to their respective file extensions so what will happen is that all the files generated um, as a result of this annotation process will have aging y99 to their names in addition to their respective file extensions let's also specify kingdom let's say bacteria so proca annotates other organisms apart from bacteria and it also uses their respective genetic codes so specifying a kingdom allows proca to use the appropriate genetic code for the annotation so this time a recent bacteria and so proca would know that it has to use the genetic code for bacteria we now specify the local stock here let's say aging 199 so the local stack also gives some form of id to the annotations and that will be generated and it's very handy especially if you are dealing with several or different sequences so specifying those local stacks allows you to easily um, identify groups of annotations that belongs to a particular file or sample or sequence so take notes of that so now we have it done so it's now time to specify the file we have to give it a four parts so the sequence is not desktop and it's called agy99.faster so we have this file specified so now we are ready to perform the annotation but you can review your codes to make sure that you have you have specified the correct options and you have given the required information so let's run it so now annotation has started so let's wait for it to complete so the annotation has been finished and that is why you have this here it was successful 